Welcome to an Exosploit tutorial. Please help me by commenting and rating this video. Hey guys, right now I'm going to answer a question that lots of people have about their process list. Once you hit Control Alt Delete, it'll bring up your task manager. Go to Processes, and you'll see more than one SVC host. Uh, some people might wonder why do I have so many SVC hosts? And what do they do? Well, I'll show you how you can find out exactly what these SVC hosts are doing because malware can hide under any uh, process name. So it could be a malware if uh, nothing else is looking suspicious. Basically, a, a service. Uh, is a Windows program that starts up when Windows loads and it continues to run in the background without interaction from you, the user. Most Windows services are executable files, but some services are DLL files, and Windows has no way of executing these DLL files, so it needs a program that can act as a launcher for these types of programs. And, uh, so what happens is the launcher for the DLL services is this SVC host.exe, otherwise known as the generic host process for the Windows services. Each time you see this SVC host process, it is actually a process that is managing one or more distinct Windows DLL services. So now that you know what it is, we'll find out how you can see what it's doing so you can investigate if you feel that one of them may be virus or may not be legitimate and once you find out what it is you can uh, google it and see if this is a legitimate SVC host most likely and finding out if it's malware or a legitimate service so download and install process explorer which is given in the links alright so once you have it running you can see your SVC host and it'll tell you in the uh, drop down information uh, a basic idea of what it is. So, this is a remote procedure call DNS client. So, uh, you can right click it. And basically, under services, you can find out a little bit more about it or whatever else you might want to know about it. So, uh, as we can see, this is most likely a legitimate process, but this just gives you a little bit more of an idea. In the description of this video, I'll have a, a more detailed explanation of what SVC hosts are. But, uh, that's a pretty easy way there. You can find out exactly what it does. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please comment and rate it. And if you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Links and additional information will be located in the video description.